And we're gonna roll. Okay, period. I love that. <laughs> In five, ten, <laughs> nine, eight, seven, six, it's five, right. four, right. three, two. Hey, everybody, welcome to this episode of A Word with Words, the podcast. It's your girl, Bree Stories. It's MJM Kid. And we are here with Chicago's very own Bree Specific. What up, girl? Y'all <laughs> calling me on a Saturday. <laughs> Hey, so happy to, hey first girl. of all, this is a long time coming. Forever. It's been a minute. I think yeah. we were just talking about how Bree and I do not know how we met. Yeah, we exactly. do not remember. We just know each other. That's exactly. a good thing. <laughs> I know, it's so cute. Yeah. I love it. First of all, your teeth are gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> they look so nice. I had speedy braces. I had to sacrifice having braces at prom just so I could look like this. What, is, what is speedy braces? I never heard of that I either. I had them for 10 months, and wow. I had like a gap, like. I had a gap for sure. And yeah. my orthodontist was like, we can make this happen, but you got to do graduation. You got to do prom with braces. And cute. I was like, oh. boom. I'll I do always it. thought that the girls with the braces were really cute. I was not that cute with my braces. Really? I'm not even going to cap. Like, mm. <laughs> senior year was tough. Yeah. But I made it. Well, look at you. Yeah, you're gorgeous. Yeah. You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. <laughs> so, first of all, this is the first episode of 2023. Happy New Year, y'all. Happy it, New Year, it, y'all. It, it took us. <laughs> we went through some things, child, get into this episode. But yep. it's here. Hopefully nothing else happens between now and the Monday that this comes out. It's yes. out. It's clear. You see us. We're exactly. here. Okay. We we have arrived. Tati will be back. Oh, Tati will be back. <laughs> um couple weeks. Yeah. For y'all, for, for the people watching. Right. Um, so yeah, so that's exciting. So let's do a couple of housekeeping things just because it's been a long time. So just in case y'all forgot, you know. The people that, the powers that be, don't know where to find us. And you know how you can let them know where to find us? By commenting and sharing and subscribing and reviewing and rating and yeah. doing all of the things that matter because a podcast, you see us on social media sometimes, but we don't exist on social media. So all of the social media numbers don't matter. The ones that matter is if you are, you're listening to us on Apple Podcasts right now or Google Play mm -hmm. or Spotify, making sure that you're rating and reviewing there. And especially if you're on our YouTube channel, making sure that you are subscribed, even hitting that little bell thingy so that you get those notifications when Ding. we put things out. Um, that would be extremely helpful to us, you know. I think that we spent a lot of maybe like the first few years of a word with words podcast, maybe longer than that, you know, just being kind of cute about it and <laughs> like do, do what you guys do want. What you want. <laughs> but no, um, I'm coming for my things this year, y'all. Yeah. Don't play with it. I love that. Okay, so mm -hmm. please and should. Period. So alongside that, make sure that you're subscribed also on yaymash.com. Um, our Mother website that houses everything away with words the podcast, everything your morning message, my my solo daily podcast, and what else? Writings by Tati and I, all the things you can find on yamesh.com, and you might want to subscribe there as well. And we appreciate you for doing so. Let's oh, I didn't bring an icebreaker. I'll leave that to Tati. We won't break ice today. Mm -hmm. I like breaking ice. You want okay, let me think of an icebreaker. Okay, <laughs> look, <laughs> right off right the door. There. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what song, what song would you use to describe the era that you're entering in right now? Ooh. I feel like this is going to be so cliche. I love it. I love it already. Um, <laughs> SOS. Mmm. SZA, SZA intro song. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Fire. Yes. And it just speaks to like. Just coming being on right, like yeah. coming through everything that yeah. I am. Like, All the things you thought about me, bitch, is true. And exactly. So well. <laughs> like, I've let y'all get away with doing this and doing that, mm -hmm. and I've seen this, I've seen that. But at the end of the day, like y'all know it's me. Period. And y'all been know it was me. I love it. But now I'm making sure that y'all know it's me. I love that. That's what it give me. I oh, love yeah, that. Yeah, that's what's I'm, up. I like it, yeah. McGee. Ooh, Look. I was hoping you weren't going to come straight. Yeah, because I hadn't thought about that. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 um, I want to pick a scissor song too now. Okay. Let's all pick a that song. Because that album is really good. That if that's the case, great. then so if that's the yeah. case, then mine is Snooze. I was about to say I Snooze, snooze. too. Shout Dang. out to my baby. Oh, you got a boo? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the world don't know yet. <laughs> I know. Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. Um, yeah, no, we are in love. Um, <laughs> things are very different. Look, let me tell you something. Well, you better be thing? in love. It's the end for me. You can it love, is. but when right. you're in love, it's <laughs> different. Well, ten toes down, we're in it. 
Um, one thing about brief stories, and I know that if you are um, a, a previous listener of a Wave Wars podcast, you might know this about me. It goes zero to one hundred real quick. Okay? Always, it goes from Always. dry, nobody on my phone, nothing happening to like, oh well, yeah, we're married. You know, like <laughs> just like it just happened so quickly. Um, but no, we're in bliss. Snooze is definitely the song for the era that I'm in right now. Just big love, big love stuff. Yeah. I love that for sure. Yeah. Thank you so much. You know what song that stuck out? You know it was out already, but I love it more than the album. It's Good Days. Good Days. Yes. And I think mm. I'm gonna stick to that because I like that for you I too. Just, it's just been just really smooth. This year has been everything I wanted to be. I have really good energy. I'm yes. like took some things out, bringing things in. So. Good days on my mind. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I love to hear that. Yeah. Thank you. And both. that video was fire. Absolutely. Oh my god. I don't remember the video. I gotta, I gotta revisit the video. She was yeah. like all shrooms and oh, oh yeah. yes, and like this wonderland. Like, yes, exactly. Like, yeah. yeah. Shout out to shrooms. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, shout out. Just you know, quick little. Um, so let's go ahead and check in. Mickey, would you like to start us in a check in? Yeah, absolutely. We'll do bop bop bop. Okay. Ba -da, ba -ba. <laughs> um, physically. How am I feeling physically? A little sore. Okay. I, the you. gym has been happening every day at 5 a.m. and yeah. I love that. So I love that for you. How? Yeah, I know, right? I had to cut some things out to get up. Yeah. I um, so I feel a little sore emotionally. Um, I'm pretty content right now. Mm -hmm. Emotions are pretty solid. Just a straight line, uh, up and down, kind of. Nice. I like that. Um, my attention is on. Probably just spending less money, I think. Oof. I've been, a word. I want to come into the thing. new year with just like being a little intentional with how I spend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's all I've been thinking about. So, and of course, the Super Bowl party. I'm very excited. I'm very excited because I had to miss it last year. Yeah. I've and asked. this is the one to be present at. Uh, yeah, because Rihanna, obviously. Yeah. Harry, can I come? I Please. would love you to come. <laughs> <I'm there. laughs> no, like for real. Please. Yeah, like, no. like, like I throw a party I want every to year. Share this Rihanna moment with like. Yeah. Yes. No, the lights go off in my house. Yeah, Everybody gathers okay, around. Like you yeah, have people to cannot have talk. Time. There's no talking. You yet. have yeah. to have that yeah. moment, like yeah. when like her fashion shows come out. Yeah, Amazon's like watching a party. immediately. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. We don't play about halftime here. We do not. No. Um, and spiritually, um. I guess I'm just hearing a lot of good words spiritually. Ooh. Yeah. Can you throw us a word? Oh, I can't. Okay. No, <laughs> like, but I can't. no worries. It's just all just, just the good uh, yeah, words. It's just, yeah. yeah, just the good ones. Good That's, days, good words. Love yeah, it. Exactly. Love that. You got like this aura going on. Oh, wow. It's, just, it's, it's just giving going? like. I'm really? coasting. I'm just yes. Like, right. That's why that. Good Days is really the perfect song oh, for you right now. Thank you so much. Even the even just the instrumental of it. Yeah. It's just very. Ooh. I love that. It's a flaw. Well, physically, I'm feeling physically. I feel very like clear and steady, which is great because I was sick as a bitch last yeah, week. I know. Like, I was so nervous for me to just like hit y'all. <laughs> Brie was supposed to be here before. <laughs> it was fine. Though. But for me to hit you up in the morning, like I literally was literally hours. On the bathroom floor at six thirty, and I was like, "If this goes on until eight, I have to. I cannot leave this house." Right. It was awful. So I'm very just thankful. The absence of that, ooh, child, I'm thankful for that. Mm -hmm. Um. So that's how I'm feeling physically, emotionally. I'm feeling joy. You know, I feel just like you have been so joyous. I thank you. I love you. it. I love and it let so me much. tell y'all something. <laughs> can, I, can I actually address something? Yes, please. Because I know that I had a couple of episodes at the end of the year. I know that I was like, you know. I was I was doing the depression dance a little bit, you know. Yeah, but like, let me tell you something. Niggas don't define me, okay? <laughs> I'm not <laughs> only yeah. happy, right? <laughs> because the nigga came through. Yeah. You know, I'm not only happy because of that. I'm also like my routine is back up. You yeah, know, I'm exactly. getting back to the things that really matter to me. Absolutely. You know, I'm getting money again. I'm getting money again. Y'all know I had I had a job That's separation, not a job loss, because we don't lose things here. But I had a job separation. At the end of the year, that kind of threw me for a loop. It was, it was, you know, it was looking rough for you, girl. <laughs> but then I got my shit together. I like, like the mama says, like a big girl. <laughs> I girl. got my shit together and Ooh, I started I getting up in the morning and <laughs> doing my meditations again and that, do, you know doing my shit. Yeah, and, you know, and a nigga came and I be fucking. So it's giving yeah, breakthrough. Exactly. Yeah. 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 What? Come on, you it's get like it. It's like when everything is just heavy. Like you got to keep going because you already know. Like yes. 
it's just gonna like it's gonna completely the light, change. Yeah, it's coming. And then it's like once you keep going, and and that's the thing that I think that I had to learn about. So I love that that imagery of like something heavy because it's like I needed to learn that if I kept moving, it'll fall. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. at first you get so caught up, like oh I have to stop and get this stuff off of me, but it's like right. no, you keep going, and eventually everything works out the way that it's supposed to. Just don't stop, bro. You just know, just don't stop. And you got a nigga out of it. It's like the guacamole <laughs> on top of like the chipotle bowl. I love like yes. that. Literally, Come on, he's, literally. Guac. he's he's the guac. He's literally. the guac. Like, no. I'm really, and I, I did not intend to do this because right. I know that my friends are already irritated. Literally, <laughs> literally, I don't know how long the honeymoon phase lasts, but I was about to ask, it's are you like one of those girls that just go ghost on your friends? No, you no, 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 no. If God, anything. No. <laughs> So me and my me and my boyfriend, like, he doesn't really like nigga, but I love my nigga. I <laughs> love how it sounds. But like a couple weeks ago, it was on the couch. It was my nigga, and it was me, and Michael just laying on me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like I'm gonna be in the mix. Like who like, cares? I love <laughs> One thing about my friends is they're coming. Yeah, <laughs> like, they're I'm gonna, definitely they're there. Gonna pop up to my house, and they love it too. Yeah, like, let's they be clear. love. I love yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, literally, people I date like love, I love my friends. That. So. That was cool. Um, that's actually so funny. Yes, I wish somebody we would have took a picture right. of that. Like, we were all there together. <laughs> like, Michael was literally asleep in my lap, and I'm just laying on my, oh, my God. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, but, no, so I'm not, you know, I'm I'm a my man, my man, my man ass bitch, but not to that extent. Okay. You know. Anyway, see, getting derailed. <laughs> <laughs> so I am um, emotionally and feeling joy. My attention is currently on, yours is on spending less money. Mine is on spending more. Yeah. Because I'm actually, I'm, I'm ready to just... You getting a bag, so it's clearly wanna, you trying to spend more money. I just want to. It's not that that that's happening, but I just want to shift into that energy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you just gotta act the part. You know, Hell you yeah. gotta spend the money, and you gotta not be worried about it. <laughs> Look, <laughs> so financial like, no, guru. Right. Like financial <laughs> tips. <laughs> if you need some financial tips from B three. <laughs> um, don't ask me. Like Brianna score. said, spend the Brianna money. Brianna said, get the bag, Look, spend it all. Said, don't, don't ask my credit score. Worry about it tomorrow. <laughs> I am credentialed. But um, no, but so like, you know, I'm just ready to act the part. I'm just ready to just like be loose, like in all ways. And yeah. sometimes that includes, I'm not asking about whether I can mm. right now. It's just like, I just want to do it. If I can do it, like if I can literally do it right then and there, I'm going to do it. That's just right. where I'm at right now. It's about to be my birthday soon. You sure know, is. we are by the time y'all see this episode, we are in Aquarius season. That's true. It's happening. So whatever. Um, that is what my intention is. <laughs> spiritually, I'm feeling um spiritually, I feel like I'm in compromise mm. with God and the universe and the powers that be. I feel like there's like give and take. Okay. You know? Yeah. So that's where I'm at. I love that. How are you feeling physically, Bree? I just love this whole like thing right now. Oh, good. I'm so That's happy. Nice. I don't know. She, she keeps giving us compliments. <laughs> right, I'm like, like I get warm. Really really so it. warm. No, this um, is great. Physically, I'm content. Yeah. I'm good. Um, I've been pushed to get back in the gym. No, nice. okay. because I do want to, you know, be my most healthiest self this Period. year. Yeah. Period. Um, and I tried to do cardio one of these days, and my knee like. It was giving your auntie sis like mm. slow down. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been kind of limping around for the past two days, but other than that, physically I'm fine. Um, mm. You know, wig is intact. I'm not using it. Looks it looks great. I'm all Thank right. You. Yeah. Shout out is Mary J to you. Okay, <laughs> shout Make out. Sure y'all Let's go. go. My sis, okay? I, I will actually. Um, <laughs> as you should know, see, no, like I she's like the bomb. Like she cares about. She washes your hair. Oh, here. Let's talk. Because I know that's a thing that, that, that they thing. don't do that. So sick, that y'all is telling so me to come wash and blow dry. Because why? <laughs> and then I still got dandruff in my hair. You still going to braid it? Like, that's a problem. Right. Because I don't problem. wash as well. I should not know how to wash better than you. And I'm like, that Your says a lot stylist. about you as a stylist. If you're going to willingly still braid my hair, no, yeah, you, you know it's not for It's like, do you want to do girl. it or not? No, you a wild girl. <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, this is, I'm not used to wearing wigs. But it's very nice. Thank you. It looks I feel, really good. I love it. Doesn't love it make it. you feel just like grown? Like it very does. Like, like the first savage. The first couple of days, I was a little self conscious. I'm like, can y'all see my lace? Like, yeah, yeah. Can y'all see my lace? But <laughs> like, <laughs> no, but she did a great job. So I love it. It, it makes me. Nice. Yeah, it's definitely. I'm coming into like this auntie. I just keep saying it, like I'm in like yeah, this what? rich auntie. Era. I was about to say it has to be the rich auntie because auntie on its own just sounds like oh yeah. I, yeah. Um, it sounds like Moo Moo. No. 
Yeah, it does. But it's definitely a, it's definitely a rich auntie era. Um, okay, I we love, love that. I love it. A couple months ago, my niece, I bought her a birthday present. And I wrote like from your rich auntie. Yeah. Oh, so you we gotta manifest. Say that. That's what I mean by, I was by about act to the part. Say that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We're manifesting. That's exactly it, what I mean. Sure. Step into it. Yeah, I love um, it. Physically, emotionally, emotionally yes. I I've been setting boundaries. Oh, I love that. A we lot got of to. boundaries yeah. with people. Um, just everybody. And I'm unapologetic about it. You I know? love to hear that. I feel like communication is the biggest thing. So if I'm able to tell you, like, yo, I just, you know, I can't do it right now, mm-hmm. but I'll give you five minutes of my time later Her. type thing. Like, I'm good with that. So yeah. I've been really, like, focused on setting boundaries, setting more time for me, yes. um, my self-care. Got to. Got to. How else have I been feeling? Work-wise, emotionally, work has been good. good. I've been busy. Um, but I'm, I think I've been manifesting like, and I be telling my friends this sometimes too, like I've worked hella jobs. Like I've yeah. sold cars, I've worked at Hooters, I've worked at furniture stores. I love that. And oh, I've yeah. always been like, every time I work, I want to just get to a space where like every job that I have, like correlates with something that I love to do. Absolutely. Mm, and yes. I'm just now coming into that era. So. Period. You, you made arrived. it. Look, you made it. I'm here. <laughs> I love to hear that. Yeah. And what's your attention currently on? Just elevating professionally, mm. um, physically too. Like mm-hmm. those are like my main two. Like I want to make sure I stay in the gym. I want to make sure my knee doesn't go out on me any, uh, anymore. <laughs> you got it. Um, <laughs> you got to stretch before yeah. and after. Oh, yeah, I got to stretching. walk incline instead of trying to sprint. Oh, yeah. oh, for sure. That's and what I do. Decent, like it's. I be trying to, yeah. y'all oh, no. don't understand. Yeah. No, I don't. Doing cardio, <laughs> I just be wanting to tilt over and fall. Let the treadmill just roll me yeah. down. Like, <laughs> we don't need you going viral Take for that. Right. It's right. <laughs> much up here. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm, yeah. you know, I'm getting into my groove. Um, but other than that, professionally, I'm just working on elevating. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And how are you feeling spiritually? My spiritual relationship with God has gotten a lot better. I love that. Yeah, I've been reading this book. Actually, Diamond put me on to this book. It's Shout called out to um, Diamond. Period. <laughs> I love her. Um, forty days of prayer. Like, no, it's called Draw the Circle, but it's like a forty day prayer challenge. Okay, mm. nice. Yeah, and it like the first day I kind of like was drawn into it because it said something about um don't work for your opportunity. Like you could pray for your opportunities, but just let your opportunities, like don't seek them. Just yes. kind of pray on them and yes. like go let through your routine come. and just let them come to you. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's just, I don't know. That just resonated with me. I feel like that's like the theme for yeah. my That's circle. already a gem. Yeah, for I sure. I love that. That's fantastic. I love that. So definitely do the inclined walk though, girl. Not yeah. I can't be just, yeah. Cause that's what be I've like, been doing lately. I've just been doing the high and honestly the results, Honey, like we're lifting this ass up. Like, you, I, <laughs> I need a you don't shelf. Need, you don't need. I want to, a shelf. Like, yeah. Oh, for sure. You have it. Yeah. High incline. I do. Um, I I start with a little. I think like a seven incline. Like two point two point seven speed. Like, oh, okay. I'm just cruising. Yeah. You know, <laughs> thirty minutes. Yeah. That's like a little over a mile, and I'd be like, well, <laughs> <laughs> did my <laughs> look, did, did my did. job, <laughs> did my um, and then just good stretches. But anywho, getting into you. First of all. Thank you. We're right. so excited to have you Thank after y'all. all of this time. Absolutely. Um, still, I one one day I hope maybe I'll have a dream or something like a flashback on how we met because I'm so curious. I have about no that. clue. But that's okay. So, how's radio life? Like, <laughs> first of all, how did you get into radio? Um, and it's so fitting, by the way. Absolutely. It's thank you. It's, I, I think so too. too. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, I kind of fell into it. I started a radio show when I was in college at nice. SIUC. And oh, um, it kind of just started growing gradually, but I still was never like, oh, this is what I want to do full time. I didn't think that's what I could do full time. Yeah. And I came home and I started uh, working with What's the Word TV mm-hmm, mm-hmm. for a minute. And I started doing interviews with them, like broadcast journalism, things like that. Then I ended up getting an intern. Oh, I went to Illinois Media School. Oh, okay. Shout out oh, to me Illinois t- Media School. You went to is Illinois Media School? that what happened? Is that what? Is no, that we were we, not at IMS together for sure. So, I was there when it was called Chicago Center for Broadcasting. I was there after. Okay. Yeah, I was there after. Interesting. Um, so from yeah, from there, I got an internship at Power. Nice. And I pretty much told them I didn't want to leave after my internship. I so love that. it was like you're not going anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> it's like we're gonna find a job. And I got a job, and I just kept moving up. I love that you did that though. I love that you like declared. 
what you didn't want to happen and mm-hmm. ended up getting something that you really yeah, wanted. Yeah, because I went through a space where it was like, I was sending air checks to people, but then the whole time, like, I just knew how to do the radio that I like, college radio, which yeah. I pretty much did on my own. I didn't know too much about, like, formatting or, like, mm. you know, having to sell your station, being in and out of breaks and things like that. So I was just sending audios everywhere, mm. no yeah. response. I'm like, dang, I'm really trash out here. <laughs> <laughs> So no, that's not when all. I ended up going yeah. to IMS. Okay. And after that, I was like, yeah, okay. Like, I didn't want to be back in that space where it's like, I'm just sending out stuff and I didn't have no direction. Right. So I was like, shoot, sis, it's time to speak up. Yes. So when you went to IMS, that gave you a little bit more of, what did it give you that helped you to kind of get into the position you're in now? More so the network. Like, my Got teachers yes. were great. True. Um, I worked with First Lady. I worked mm-hmm. with uh, Devontae Stone. Yes. So, and Devontae Stone was, like, my favorite teacher, like, ever in life. He was mine, too. He was there when I was there, I too. love him. He's so nice. I love him. Yeah. And he always told me, like, the best personalities are the ones that are themselves. I really remember him saying that, like, our first day, and that I has always that. stuck with me. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, just the network, like, being able to, you know, shout them or just reach out and they gave me critiques on my air check and like gave me letters of recommendations and things oh, like that. So that I feel like definitely the, goes a long yeah, way. Yeah, even and Absolutely. I teach there now, which is oh yeah. wow. what? Yeah. Did not know that. Paying it forward, I know that's right. Teacher Bay, whatever. So cute. Yeah, so I teach there now and I tell my students like the biggest thing like to take away is the network like yeah make sure you're working make sure you're you know your teachers and your instructors are seeing you working because you never know what opportunities you might have so true yeah so one of the things that I always find so fascinating because we live in such a digital world now is the ways that radio continues to evolve with Mm -hmm. it what what is like the state of radio to you in your opinion since now you're so deeply in it I think radio is I don't even want to put a percentage on it, but the digital part of radio is getting higher and yeah. higher. Like, you have to see everything. Mm-hmm. Every Like, everybody, you have to have visual interviews. Like, you have to have visual freestyles. Like, even you have to have visual day-in-the-life blogs. Like, you could, uh, like, go on air and be like, yo, y'all, you know, I was really in traffic today. But you have to say, check it out on my Instagram oh, story at BRE specific. It. Yeah, wow, so it's like they wow. – that element is, like, an essential now. That digital element is yeah. essential, which it helps radio, I feel like, in the long run because you have more avenues to, like, advertise and, like, bring okay. in, yeah, like, bring in, like, the smaller businesses if you want to, you know, spend this amount of money on, like, a banner or a shout-out mm-hmm. on, you know, our little segment that we do yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. Opposed to spending thousands of dollars to just right. get a commercial type thing. Yeah, right. yeah. Um, so, yeah, I feel like dig- radio has to be digital. I feel like if you have a radio station that's not digital in a couple years is more likely to yeah fade yeah out, for sure. so that's what I was gonna ask you if that's something that you prefer because obviously having a mentor like Devonte Stone like you know like this older age radio um, so but you do have an affinity and appreciation for where radio was going on the mm-hmm. digital space so well, that's good and that seems like it's very like you said like it creates more inclusivity for people to to do advertisements and stuff put a put a note in your head yeah. about that and mm-hmm. i think as a personality it kind of um just pushes us to be more of like that reality like i was influenced. like you have yeah. to be that yeah because mm-hmm. that's exactly how i see y'all now yeah, yeah. Influences exactly. for sure would yeah. you would you go on a reality show i could see i could see like a i can but i'm so strategic I think I'll, I'll be so unproblematic because in yeah. my head I play out situations before it happens. I ain't about good. to get involved in that. Bye. <laughs> Give my drink. You're not spilling it. I'm taking yeah. it with right. me. Right. You're okay? not going to throw my drink. Exactly. No way. Okay. Um, but I would. Yeah. I'll do a reality show. Do you watch reality shows now? If so, yes, what's I'm subscribed to Zeus Network. Oh, oh my God. So are we. <laughs> so are I we. love <laughs> mess. I'm sorry. I just I love know. mess. Because I, I know I can't do because it right. Because you stay I out know. of it exactly. in your real life. So I it's do. entertaining. That's I try exactly my best. It so it's like, yeah. I don't I don't like people being messing with me, but I will love I love watching other people mess. Like, yeah. Um, you have a face? The Which one? Baddie the Baddie South. Bad, I was just telling Brianna, like, that's, it's coming on next week, right? Yes. Well, Look, this exactly. time. Like, right, right. I love we'll it. We'll be watching it. I loved it. it. Um, Krishan and Blueface was a little much for me. I'm not going to cap. It not was, doing it. Yeah, it was a little, it was a lot. Yeah. We only watched, what, two episodes? Yeah, we watched two, and I'm not really about to yeah, get Yeah, I watched two. And there's <clears> like, <throat> it drags. Like, it's like, it's, it's like you anticipate something to happen, and then it's just like the same. Like mm-hmm. I think with Zeus, they're 
storylines and their scene structure, they let stuff last way too long. Exactly. Like we sit in there for too long and not really saying anything, and then the next scene they're talking about the same thing. Like exactly. they don't have like a progression or anything. Exactly. So like, like there's no storyline. It's just it. like we just want to see y'all argue, and it's like, but what's happening next? Yeah. Come yeah. on. You and know. what's the what's like what's the conclusion like yeah. what's the solution? Just, just a punch in the face. Exactly, punch in the face next <laughs> Which, week. I mean, that works again. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so my, yes. we kind of like that too. But I was gonna say, yeah, I do. I, I don't mind that. Speaking <laughs> of speaking of that though, and I, I think just also just like the state of where we are now, do you feel like you have a responsibility when it comes to like this guys versus girls, like? women in relationships versus men in relationships conversation. I feel like that's oh, so recurrent. It's happening all like, over the Like, especially in the podcast space and stuff, like, yeah. which radio is podcast adjacent, or podcast is radio adjacent. So, like, do you feel a responsibility to chime in on those conversations or set a certain record straight? Not at all. Okay. I feel like people are cap. Yeah. Um, <laughs> people <laughs> are big cap. I, yeah. I, big like, cap. you find people that really are like, oh, I want to start a podcast and not in a large percentage of podcasts are just relationships. Like, yeah. I just or just bashing the other gender. Bashing the other gender. It's like yeah. hate, like back yeah. and forth. Yeah. And it, it's not progressive. It doesn't help. Um, but for some reason, those are the ones that go viral. Those are the ones that we argue. Why do we argue? And you know what I realized? Mm. And I tweeted it. We argue about 50-50 oh the first God. of every month. When a, when rent is due, that's the only time we talk about it. Yeah, Beating the whores. Because yeah. y'all be mad that y'all got to pay rent. And y'all yeah. ain't got nobody yeah, else to horse. take care of you And it's just like, get, why don't you get you somebody that's going to pay your rent then? Exactly. Or like, in, in, in the very least, stop messing with the person who's not paying your rent. Like, if that is the standard of yours. If that's what I don't know nothing desire. about that. I'm trying to learn how to be like. A bad bitch, you know, like the bad bitches just be like, I don't pay for nothing. Da 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 da. I want, I, I want to learn, you know, like, but I'm not. I would like to learn I'm not too. Cut from that cloth. I'm not cut from that cloth either. Like no. I'm built off security. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm going to. I'm work. the only child, so if I tell yeah. you, I don't even know how to tell somebody I want something. Like, it's so hard. if you know that I want something and I don't get it in a certain amount of time, oh, I'm gonna hard. go get it. Yeah, I'm not exactly. gonna say anything yeah. to you and about it. Yeah, it's hard. It's yeah, hard. like it's it's it's, it's weighing on me. Yeah, like. It's a lot. I feel like we just had a moment. No, like, <laughs> it's really, it, like, exactly. it weighs on me. I talked to my therapist about this. Yeah, because you look sad. and you be like, oh, well, shorty, like, she getting this, she getting that. And the she bitches don't. make it look so fun. They do. But at the same time, there's always a cost with something. Like, you have to deal with That's somebody exactly what it who's is. not really treating you right. Yeah. Or they feel like buying gifts is quantifiable for forgiving whatever they done. Yeah. Or you not really feeling that self-love or that reassurance mm-hmm. from the person. Or you, or you, you don't, don't see even, him at all. I just, or you don't like this nigga. Yeah. And that's, that, like that'd be them. the part that's weird to me. Like, when I've been personally around women who have these kind of, like, transactional relationships, there's always, like, a little bit of a persona. I've never I've never seen, like, a real, really good bitch just, just be like, love. okay, I'm going to just be my full self. Yeah. It's always like, oh, this nigga's calling. I got to prop myself up. Or I got to, mm-hmm. you know, you got to yeah. keep up this thing. But I feel like that's because it's going. like... You have to give. Like, everybody gives, everybody takes. And yes. they're, in that situation, mo- most times, it's like them giving is, okay, let me stop what I'm doing because mm. it's the 12th and he's coming home. Yep. So, let me, you know, get it together. Opposed to you giving in other areas, like emotionally. Mm. Like, that man could be messed up in the head. And, and you're not, be. right, like you're not there for him emotionally type yeah. thing. So, I feel like you just have to you find a way to, You gotta take all that in. Yeah, yeah, like you just gotta find a way to give to your partner. Yeah. And that's the thing, and emphasis on the word partner because I think that there's too many people that's not really seeking to be in a partnership. You know what sure. I'm saying? They're just like, well, what can I get out of these niggas? W2s, W4s. <laughs> 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 exactly. exactly. <laughs> well, um... That was one of the questions. Is that what you meant by that question? Yeah, Michael? definitely. Because I, I always feel n- the pressure of like, do we chime in on this? You know, like as podcasters, like, do we chime in? on But it's so stupid and so convoluted and so. It's like, always one sided. Like you're not so even dumb. thinking about both sides. You're just thinking about how you feel personally. I feel like it's a projection most of the time. Absolutely. And so then it comes out like all men or all women and should. And it's so black and, and white. Like, and yeah. The, the world. Is, the world is not black and white. Ex- the exactly. The world is gray. All of our experiences and our relationships and our all of us. It's gray. And everyone's experience shouldn't be the same. And so why are you? Telling us what a we lot all of should do. When, right. you, um, when you go to actually watch the entire episode of some yeah. of these podcasts, there's no solution. Exactly. There's no healing. Exactly. There's no, no. Let's come to a consensus, guys. Right. Like, nope. there's it's nothing like that. Yep. That's true. And that's that's funny that you say that because that's one thing I never, ever do. 
I never go and like see like what. Let's hear the rest of this. <laughs> yeah. You know, right. I'll just be like, I do well, a, a couple of times. Like, if I like the person, you yeah, I yeah. do. But that's why I like a way with words because you guys are always so like vulnerable oh. and open. Thank oh, yeah. you. I thing. appreciate that. It's good to know that that doesn't like. That was not a pay advertisement. <laughs> 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 She's not paid to be here. <laughs> like, um, that's that's good though because I do worry sometimes. Like, is our style of podcasting like falling on deaf ears because it's just us bringing whatever we are that mm-hmm. day, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's, we I just think that's the beauty of it. it. Yeah. Become as yeah. we are. No, for sure. I appreciate that. And people need to hear it. Like, yeah. I feel like we get so toxified by, like, the podcasts that are trending. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's so messy. Yeah, and it's so easy to want to just fall into those conversations just because we're like, well, this is what people like. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to pay attention to the energy that you put into Baby. your, or, like, we learn that. listening to those podcasts is not healthy. No, yeah. it's not healthy unless you you've already healed and you like, hey, yeah. I'm just like just how I, I like to watch Krishan and yeah. Blueface yep. every right. once in a while. Yeah, right. right. You I'm can be good unbiased. on that. I know that I'm not in that space. Exactly. And we're grown. Like uh, we're all big grown. I think I'd be worried about like the teenagers because now that everything is so everything is so spread. They got out, access immediately. Everything is ev- you access everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, like the kids have the same access that I have, and yep. that's crazy to me. Sometimes yeah. I'm scrolling through Twitter and I'm like, anybody can be on this app. Anybody. And the shit that I see on Twitter sometimes is wild. It's wild, wild. What are you seeing on Twitter lately? Porn. You know what I'm seeing. <laughs> it's a lot of porn on Twitter. What's that actor's name? Oh, I know. Name? Can we say porn? Hell yeah. yeah. I just say it like <laughs> porn. No, yes, no we definitely. can say porn, dick, booty hole. Everything. Just say it all. Okay. Look, why did I choose those things? <laughs> dick, booty Wait, hole. you said it, who? What's that actor's name? Are we going to do that? Are we doing that? I don't know. Should we? Probably not. Okay. Wait, what actor? There's just an actor that Look. was on a Netflix show that is like doing. Yeah, we're not full, gonna say his name. Yeah, full we'll tell like. Online. Yeah, full. But it's OnlyFans. OnlyFans. But it's just, like. But you, but he's a working. He's a working actor. Quality too. And that's that's the thing. So if you go to his page, we'll show you his page and everything. He got <laughs> Look, he on there. It's everything. Like it's not just like you know how some of the celebrities are like teasing like oh mm-hmm. sign up for my OnlyFans. It's full fledged dick. Asshole spreading it open. <laughs> Fucking. Can we guess? Nasty. Let's play this game. I, don't, I really don't think you'll guess. Honestly, I don't. I don't she think did. you'll. I don't think you'll no, guess. No, no, no. I don't think you'll guess either. Because I don't even like. I I saw his face and I'm like, oh my god, I know exactly who that is. Yeah. But I don't like know his name. But he's for sure like a working actor, like actively yeah. acting. And so for him to have an active Twitter page right now where he's promoting this is on Twitter. This is yeah. on Twitter. It's not <laughs> I don't I didn't sign up for his OnlyFans. And I've seen <laughs> Me his, either. I've seen I can see like I can, I seen up his asshole. <laughs> like this? all the way up to the heart. <laughs> <laughs> like he's showing it all doing it all. I want to know. <laughs> we gonna show you. Oh yeah, we'll show. I you. have somebody in mind, but I feel like <laughs> <laughs> he's just fine. Say, it, say it. And I'll we'll tell you if, if that person. I'll just you can say the name. Who, who do you think? Okay, but I don't. He doesn't do too many Netflix movies. Okay, well, his name is um. Well, it's not. He, I don't know why. A, I just feel like so. TV him. show, Please. not not a movie. Okay, yeah, his name is, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like Sar- Saranis. Nope. Oh, Saranis nope. Jackson. Nope. nope. It's not him, though. Mm-mm. Okay. But I, I, that wouldn't shock me at all. Right? It but wouldn't shock me. Like, my mind. He, he does that erotica, um, like, podcast. You know? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. It's the, called the, Dipsy. He still Dipsy. does it? I, I think maybe he's only done one episode, oh, okay. but the ad for it circulates a lot. Oh, got it. I haven't listened to it. That's good money. I would do that. Yeah, you'd be now, great Now, I would that. definitely do, like, you'd an be erotic great Podcast? I think you would be good at that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I think you'd be great at that. Maybe let's maybe let's That's start like working up your lane. Yeah. You Thank should do you. it and put it on like Patreon. You, you gotta get back to our this, page. We need this girl on too. Talk about she's tired. Now now we're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be good. Yeah. Um. That's anyway. How do we get here? Talk um, about Twitter. I actually yeah, Twitter and porn. Yeah, because yeah. I can't believe that I can't believe <laughs> yeah, that lots I have of the, porn. like that kids have the same access as me. Mm-hmm. Um. And I don't have any kids, so that's like not my business. But I do be like. I think about it, you know, like we're just, and, and that's what I mean, like when we're talking about like the, the blue shine and the blue shine. <laughs> <laughs> Do they go by that? I love that. <laughs> it is. <laughs> well, that's what we're going to call it now. <laughs> so when we're talking about the blue shines and the rest of like the Zeus network, it's like, it's not like back in the day. Like, remember, like our parents had like their stories and it would <clears> often be shit that we wasn't even interested in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like my mama, well, I liked sex in the city, but later. 
Like when my mama was watching it, it wasn't like I was like propping up. Yeah, like, like I gotta like, see Like this. you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't anything that that we shared. Because like, we had our shows. We, we had, had our, our shows. Exactly. Yeah, we, and, and our shows slapped. There were restrictions, <laughs> went crazy. but it was mm-hmm. very comical. Like it yeah. related to us. We weren't exactly. too. It wasn't too grown. Too exactly. Soon. Like that's so Raven. Like oh, exactly. she was like curved body, but they knew how to dress her. Exactly. Like, it wasn't too much. It like, wasn't right. doing a lot. That's why now. it's like so strange. And that's the thing. Like I don't. I, I do, I'm always curious about parents, especially parents of like teenagers. And and I have friends now who have kids that are going on teenage years now. Like yeah, exactly. And it's it's just bizarre. Like mm-hmm. damn. Like they got the same TikTok as me. Like they be on TikTok. Crazy. They don't be on TikTok like not like dude with the with the asshole or nothing. <laughs> but like just the content, oh, the conversation. The like <laughs> Nobody else has one. <laughs> dude with the asshole. But anyway, um all of that to say what? What was I saying, guys? About the kids. Kids. Yes. Anyway, watch but, what you were watching. Yeah. yeah, it's just it's just you know bizarre. you shouldn't be watching. And they that. believe that they wholeheartedly <laughs> can be these people. Like yeah. that's, 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 that's where what it is. Wrong. That's where I was going. From. That's because what it when is. We was watching Bad Girls Club. I never wanted to like kick nobody in the back in the hallway. No. Like that never. Not me personally. Yeah, like yeah, I'm not throwing your mattress over. The exactly. Dark like no, it I wasn't no like yeah. Y'all. This is what we want to do. I get no sleep because I mean oh, yeah, like because if I do that at my house, I would get kicked the fuck out. So we all had we knew our limits. We knew. Like, how close we can get to stuff like that. And I just don't know that the kids these days have that. They don't. They feel like they can beat that. Like, yeah. that's, that's for me. When I hear I kids be curse in front though. of adults now, I be like, that's crazy. I and I feel like that happens so much The girls now. got eyelashes in high school with Oh, sewings. yeah. Like, yeah. lashes. Everything. 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 Crazy. And that's the thing. And, that, and it's, I don't know. It's kind of weird because, like, with drinking, right? I mm-hmm. remember getting to a certain point in like college or whatever, where I wasn't as phased as most people. Cause I was, I started drinking when I was like 15. Right. But like, imagine that with everything. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like everything where it's like, Oh, like I don't care about that. I've been getting my lashes done. I've yeah. been getting, I've been driving this kind of car. I've been da, 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 getting in. Like, it's just like, damn, like Designer everything. Everybody. Wow. Yeah, like, what are you getting this designer from? Nothing to, no, there's nothing to like look forward to. Exactly. And I feel like, I feel like certain, there are certain things in place at the schools now that all already kind of encouraged that because when i learned that now they're they're calling the eighth grade dances proms I did you hear that no definitely not they the eighth grade dance is an eighth grade dance y'all. everybody wants to just grow up so and bad. it's just like it's what do the kids have to look forward to bills if they have <laughs> that's it at this point the, <laughs> that's the it. rough part of bills. being an adult the parts that exactly. nobody likes the parts that nobody likes but it's like everything i don't know it's just it's it makes me kind of like sad and it, it makes me even sadder because it's like they don't know what they don't know. This yeah. is just their life. But it's just like, damn, like I remember being so excited for, you know, like yeah. those milestones. And, just and I feel like when you grow up a little too fast, like you realize that you missed a chunk of your life. Yeah. Like, it ain't like Absolutely. I could have really just been chilling with my friends, but now I want to work three jobs because I want a product bag, period. Yeah. Mm. And it's like, for what? And now you look back on that and it's like, and what yeah. was it for? It's crazy. Anywho, child, well, shout out to the people with children. I am not one of them Me yet, either. or Me either. probably never. Me Yes. Um, talk about probably I never. I love not having kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cat's That's meow. That's what it is. I love it here. It's simply the cat's meow. Yeah. Like, every day that I get up and I'm like, look at Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, a, Brian. A dad. A We're dad. so sorry. And like a father. No, a like, father. A father. <laughs> but like, every day that I get up and I'm just like, I get to have I get to do that little dance in the morning where I'm like, am I gonna get up now or am I gonna like stay in? Exactly. Like nobody is like, no, you don't have a choice. Yeah. Like I gotta go to school or I gotta you gotta feed me. Like you can't just not feed the kids. Yep. I hear you can't. I hear that's a crime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I heard that too away. somewhere around. <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> they go I somewhere. Come, I hear they get snatch them up. Snatch <laughs> <laughs> like, You gotta keep your kids you fed. Gotta you gotta keep them a in clothes. snack or something. Everything. Yeah. Then they always growing. They like, grow a lot. I'm fast. gonna. F- I'm not gonna cap. I think I'm gonna feel away. Like my kids keep growing like why are you like why do mm-hmm. i have to keep shopping for you yeah like, why do especially you the baby shoes? parts i don't even know why when people start let's get it. look this isn't about judging anybody yeah we're not but judging why anybody. are y'all buying them babies designer that's oh took the words right out of my mouth why are you doing that like for real like why are you doing that they gotta be fly they gotta have the matching outfits they got they, to for the grand. but it's yeah. like you can't get one from the swap meet for, ba- <laughs> for like you know what i'm saying because he's not gonna fit that next week next week yeah so. i just bought um my cousin her son 
he just turned one, so I bought him like some Nikes. Mm-hmm. But I got them from like Shoe Carnival because I'm yes. like, I'm not going to Foot Locker. Period. And but even with that, like, I'm but like, he still people, doesn't have them. They're sitting shoes. in my trunk. So by the time I get it to him, he probably so can't big. wear them, and I don't have the receipt. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm mad. <laughs> the confession. <laughs> <laughs> that was confession on a reality chest. show. <laughs> What? She was on the reality TV right Like, then, come get your shoes. <laughs> like, get your son's shoes out my car. <laughs> if his foot does not go in them, I, I have to be but there But you can also, it. I like when people repurpose, like, baby's little shoes. Like, when people have, like, the little baby shoes on their um, oh. window in the, or, or their like, mouth. I don't want, I like, want them to know, wear them. <laughs> you, yeah, you like, you got to go to daycare yeah, in these, yeah, actually. Yeah. But no, like, the shoes, I can halfway understand better. But, like, you buying this baby a Gucci jacket is crazy. <laughs> Like, that is why. It's like, we got to have an endorsement, a sponsorship or something. Because exactly. I'm not spending money on because it. That's a, because the, a baby's coat is still like $1,200. <laughs> like, this is not they so got it. It's not a little bit of money. And they're gonna, like, I spent a pretty up. penny yeah. on, on AP's baby's, like, little winter stuff that I bought him. Oh, uh, yeah. But even that, that's, I'm okay. There has to be a cap. <laughs> because I know so. for a fact that I'm going to see him in it one smooth time. <laughs> And he's simply not gonna fit it ever again. Yeah. And so then now what, what you do? You pass it off to somebody that I don't even know. Yeah. yeah. Then you just giving it away, and it, which is away. fine. I yeah. get it. Which is, I think that that's, I think that clothes should circulate that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, give them away, donate them, do all that stuff. Anyway, child, that is not where I was going with this. Jacket. I do want to know, um, as a radio extraordinaire. You I are. like extraordinaire. Oh, my God. I mean, that's what you that's are. That's what you are. <laughs> like, you like, uh, come on. Absolutely. Somebody <laughs> called me a legend last night, and I almost oh, fainted. Yes. I was yes. like, yo, I haven't done nothing yet, but thank you. Right. I think, like, I think you, you got to speak you're, it. You have to, you're doing all the things. You're stepping into it, thank acting the part. I love it. But as someone who is an expert in the area, what do you have any, like, musical, like, hopes or predictions for 2023? Like, with music, like Chicago yeah. music, or let's do Chicago music. That'd be nice. First, um, I don't know. I tend to get in trouble when I speak on Chicago oh, music, uh-oh. but uh, no, uh-oh. I was just playing. Um, Chic- I think Chicago is gonna have within like the next couple of years, like kind of mm-hmm. like a, a renaissance. Mm. Like I've, I think I've grown into a space where like Chicago is so segregated when it comes to music. Absolutely, like so segregated. Even last night, I went to. Um, KO Southside, I think mm-hmm. he's dropping his project on Tuesday or next Tuesday or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, he had a so listening last week, y'all. Yeah, last week. <laughs> um, he had a listening session nice. last night. It was mm-hmm. private, and I thought it was dope. But it's like you go to a certain artist, like a certain genre of artist, um, listen private listening session. You would think like all media would be there, like all right. DJs would be there, mm. all like artists would come and support. But it's yeah. like. They have their crowd. Yep. And then after that, I went to um, Lil Blessing and Steve-O and Flex had a show. Mm-hmm. And they have their crowd. So yeah. it's like mm. Chicago is so segregated when it comes. And then it's all rap. So it's like, right. I get it. Right. Like Some people are like backpack rappers. Some people are like yeah. mumble rappers. Some people mm-hmm. are like T rappers, drill rappers, whatever. Mm-hmm. But I just, I want Chicago to come together. But I feel like there's going to be like some type of renaissance mm-hmm. where there's going to be a light back on Chicago. But it's okay. not going to be for that. drill. It's going to okay. be because we have, like, Talented. so much of an outpouring of yeah. different genres of yeah. Yeah. lyricism and artists. Mm-hmm. And Chicago, even with R&B, like, Chicago is about to get to it. I want that to happen That's so exciting. Bad. Yeah. You heard it here first, y'all. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and what, about, um, what about just, like, overall mainstream? Mainstream? Like, who, need, who, are you, who do you look out for? I'm a big R and B head, so I yeah. like SZA. Um, I loved Coco Jones um, EP yeah. that she yeah. dropped a couple months ago. I thought it was great. Yeah, like she she's snapping. So she's snapping. Um, even local, like tonight, I wouldn't call her. I don't know if I call her R and B for real, for real. Mm-hmm. But she's dope. Okay. I, I'm gonna put y'all in tune. I please, think y'all will please. love her. Like yes, she's please. amazing. Um, jazz, y'all know Jazz from Chicago. I don't know. Maybe. She got an EP called Unavailable. Okay. It's like okay. timeless. Like, I oh, love oh, it. Oh, I love that. Um, But more so mainstream, like, the regulars, like, Queen Nyjah. I love Queen Nyjah. Oh. I feel like she's elevating into, like, her space in mm-hmm. R&B. Mm-hmm. Um, who else do I listen to, child? <laughs> Jacquees just had a dope album too. Did you I haven't listened to it yet. And I never used to listen to Jacquees because I used to feel like Jacquees gave me like 
um, boy being like, we are the boys in my shit. <laughs> like, he used to give me those vibes. Like, even when I see him in concert, it was giving, like, teen yeah. bopper, like, 16-year-old. But, I understand. Yeah, and I think it's because he's so small in a way. But, no, like, he's, he's dope. Good. Like, his album is, like, real grown man. Like, I'm getting in my feelings, and I want my girl back. And I love that type I of love R&B. I R&B love song. like beg I want you to me. Cry. Yeah. Yes. Like yeah. beg me. Talk to a woman. Yeah. Like yeah. I love that. Even with rap, like I hate when dudes make songs about women and it's not as like like make you gotta soft. make right, like make me feel it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I soft. get it, but you telling me you wanna like slap my ass and turn me over doesn't <laughs> always turn me on. Like, you feel Can me? Can it get like, to the softest damn, side of so things? Fine, I wanna drill your shit. <laughs> exactly. Like reassure like, me. No thanks. <laughs> like, yuck. Like, I'm tired of being drilled. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> how's you gonna drill it? <laughs> Can we switch sides? Yeah, something else. Yeah. Just something else. You know, there are other tools. Can there are more than a drill. Just try it out. I love that. I love that. I wish, um, I hope Beyonce, you know, just you know, magically goes maybe on a, maybe a crumb, maybe have something. To, I just have to know something. Maybe just tell us something. Yeah, it's like a, a what you call a hieroglyphic or something like that, a hologram. What she's what? What okay, you mean? I'll give her something. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm like, 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 have you heard I'm, something? I know. Who's like, what do you know? <laughs> like, right. No, but um, I love the anticipation. Right. Like, no, like, you we know are, We're on <laughs> edge. <laughs> Let me knock on wood though, because girl, wait until I get my check. Yeah, but, please. You know, um, say something in March. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like say something though. Say something. It's just getting. I'm kind of um curious about. I don't know why Super Bowl. Something about Super Bowl. Like I know it's not about her, but. Something is, I'm like, maybe around that time. It's strategic, and we, I need to know what yeah, else is like happening. Yeah, it's like maybe around that time, an announcement or something. Something. Yeah. I don't know. We know is that Jay-Z the tour still is still over, coming. like, that part of the... I think so. I think so. Probably. I know I it's think Apple Music um, produced, yeah. so mm-hmm. I would think. Interesting. Well, I'm very scared. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, I'm terrified because I just don't know. This is unprecedented mm-hmm. to drop an album and just kind of go ghost the way that she has. I mean, she really hasn't. Well, she has. Like Now we, she We has. were waiting for, like, a visual album, and she's just mm-hmm. been kind of, like, pushing everybody else that's been doing TikToks and making, oh, like... Right. Yeah, like, I don't right. need to see the cover challenge. Yeah, no I've more. seen them all. Yeah. I don't... I we already... I'm on TikTok, too, Beyonce. Yeah. You think I didn't see this? <laughs> it's an eight count. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you thought you had Over to compile, it. like, yeah. make a compilation for us because we didn't need it. But... Yeah. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm uneasy about it though. Mm-hmm. Cause it's just, I want to know what's happening. I just want to, you know, I want to make sure that my face is in place and with the way that things have been going with all of these like bots and stuff with the tickets. Oh yeah. That's depressing. <sighs> I really don't, I don't, I don't want to be a part of that anymore. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I really want to opt out. I want to just have my tickets. That's the thing. I'm ready to be in this, in the space of like, I'm I'm humble. Like I want us to just get the recognition and things that we deserve, but also like give me the type of recognition that means like I don't go on Ticketmaster no more. Mm-hmm. Like you somebody just gets my that. tickets. Like I, I there's we just know like we got a guy. They're gonna be there. Yeah. It ain't always cracked up to be honey oh. trying Uh-oh. to hustle and making sure your name on the list. I want to hear about it. But that's <laughs> what, <laughs> but, what I, but what I want for us all is to be in the space where we're not hustling to get on. Like y'all just know that like it's just a give. If y'all coming to Chicago, y'all know the people that have to be there. And it's not even it's always us. like that. <laughs> a lot mm-hmm. of times, like yeah. I just learned that you know some. Um, labels like they'll allocate a certain amount of tickets to certain shows mm. and a lot of times you don't even like Chicago I feel like they don't do a good job at promoting shows in Chicago like mm. uh, last year I think uh, Fabio Foreign kicked off his show in Chicago his tour in oh, Chicago wow. last year and I only knew because we ended up getting the interview like I didn't see any promotion mm. for it for, wow. for real yeah, like wow. yeah that and Dream Doll was on it too and I would have thought it would have been a little bigger because I feel like Dream Doll kind of has what kind um, of venues were they huh? what kind of venues were they in it was at um where was it Avondale oh Avondale? okay up north yeah, I just okay. thought the promotion would have been, yeah. you know, like, yep. yeah, right. Like, it wasn't, like, the promotion wasn't there. But the show, like, they did a great job. Like, yeah. they did, especially to, like, kick off your tour in Chicago. Right. Mm-hmm. They did a great job. I remember Joey Badass and Capella Gray oh, I love Joey was Badass. here. And nobody knew about it. That's Man. crazy. I, sh- I'm, I certainly didn't know about nobody, it. Nobody. Yeah, I found that, like, the morning of, and I couldn't go. But I ended up, like, giving the tickets to one of my students. Um, oh, that's And sweet. I love Joey Badass. I think he's, like, the finest rapper 
He's really dope. Yeah, like I'm talking about if you're watching this, Joey, he's fine. He got a woman. He got a partner. I don't know. I know he got like a baby girl, and that makes him finer. Like no, she's like a toddler, I think. Oh, but it's still a child. But it turns me on even more. Oh, you one of those? Like I love a man that take care of his kids. It is nice. Especially so if you already got kids, because I don't got to have them. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, talk I'm about, good. Let's talk about Step that. <laughs> yeah. And a good one. Yeah. I would be so fun. Like, your mama might get mad. It got quiet. Like everybody, <laughs> everybody was like. Your like, mama might get mad. <laughs> right. Like, I'm the cool. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm not like a. What is what's she saying on Mingers? I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a, a cool mom. I'm a cool mom. mom. Yep. Anyway, what are we, how are we on time? Uh, we're at 50. Minutes? Okay. Really? Isn't that crazy? Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that That's did crazy. go by fast. It did. We went through all of the outline. I'm trying to, I'm just, I want to just like keep this going, but I didn't want to like yeah, I mean, waste our time. No, I think we're good. Or like waste your time. No, I mean, it's really your time. Going. Yeah, I got a lot of, so, but I got a lot of time. No, I do have some, some place. I have a hard out today, um, but no time soon. <laughs> Look, <laughs> just let you know. We're cool. Right. You can we're share. good. Rena Guacamole. Do you yeah. do, do you right. do like, uh, are you into astrology and stuff like that? So I don't I haven't had a chance to like sit and really like get into read it. it. Like I think my what y'all call it? My chart, my alignment. Oh, your natal chart, your birth chart? I don't know. Yeah. It's some with Scorpio Scorpio. Oh. Oh. oh, oh all you water signs. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we all like, we're like, no, oh, we're like, yeah. no. <laughs> like well tribe. Okay. Yeah. Um Well, I'm a Cancer Moon. He's a Cancer Sun. Yeah. I'm a Gemini rising. I'm a Virgo rising. Which is crazy to me. That's crazy. Because you don't present Virgo at all. Virgos are kind of intense and crazy. Yeah, and they are. Um, but Virgos get things done. They That's do get like things it. done. Okay. I do know that about Virgos. Yeah. What am I missing? I'm a... Um, Sun, moon, rising. I'm a cat. Oh, I'm an Aquarius. I'm a cat moon. Sun. You're a cat moon? Which also surprises me. <laughs> Um, I have a Capricorn Venus, which makes sense. Well, I don't know that far. Well, the Venus is um, what governs like your love she life, like Venus. romance. <laughs> <laughs> Who is <laughs> Venus and what she got to do with me? <laughs> Who the fuck is Venus? Well, Venus, Venus like governs like your love life and um, oh, mine's Leo. Romance and stuff mine's like Leo. that. Leo. So mine is in Capricorn, which makes sense because I think I do have kind of like a stoic energy okay. around romance, and people think that that's my Aquariusness when like. When I'm like falling for someone and I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. I got a crush on someone and I like hate it. Oh, yeah. But I think it's my Capricorn Venus. So okay. anyway, I don't know. None of that matters. So she don't know any of that I'm stuff. Here. <laughs> yeah. Now I was gonna ask you, do you feel like a Scorpio? Like from what yeah, you know about it? For sure. I don't. I don't know many Scorpios. I'm possessive. I'm working Ooh, on that. Love that. I'm very possessive. Like, mm. do you have to work on it though, or do you just have to find someone who seeks to be possessed? That's a good question. When, when? Or I just, I think my, um, my give and take mm-hmm. from me being possessive is just like that reassurance. Mm. Period. Like, I want to see it. Well, like, yeah. You have to act like, not act the same act way, like but like, mind. just, yeah, like just make me feel like I don't have anything to worry about. But, yeah. the, but, but you know that about yourself. And that's great. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. No, that's, sure. that's yeah. And I'm very vocal. Like, reassurance is a big thing for me. Like, it's huge. I have to know it. And don't just say it. I'm real big on, like, you can apologize. You can say I'm sorry, but that doesn't mean that you're I sorry. I have to see it. Yeah. 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 I love that. I didn't know. Okay, so Scorpio trait is possessiveness. What other things about being a Scorpio makes you know that you're a Scorpio? Um, I don't know, because I'm an only child, too, so I feel okay. like it could just mix into. Only child syndrome. Yeah. I have mm. a real bad. Really? It's so bad. Really? How does yeah. it show up for you? Um, I don't throw fits, but I catch Ooh. an attitude like that. Oh, I love mm. that though. Yeah, like you gonna feel it. I love, <laughs> I love a bitch with an attitude. You feel, you feel the energy when I'm like, you know the type of bitch that people be like, that bitch got an attitude problem. I like that bitch. I don't have an attitude problem though. Okay. Like, it's just like, yeah, okay. When I'm in it, I'm just like. How long does it take for you to get out of that? What does it take yeah, to get out? Yeah, yeah. It depends. We could talk about it, or sometimes I just let stuff go. Just gotta, just just gotta give like me some, time. Yeah, sometimes it's just not the place, not the it's time. It's case by case. In yeah. my head, sometimes I kind of like, I could turn up and like just throw all these lights down right now, <laughs> or you know, I could you know just chill. Choices. Just talk about it later. Choices. But is is that oh something that so with so growth? Sure. I was about to say. Yeah. I was just about to say. Did that come with growth? Or yeah, because I did not bonding? know I was like this. Mm-hmm. You got to talk it out sometimes. Say it out loud. Yeah, because I used to be like. 
Child, everything. <laughs> I love that. I hope you got a warranty. <laughs> <laughs> got that insurance, babe. I love that. I I don't know. There are things about Aquarius, like what they say about Aquarius, that I'll be like, like they just think Aquarius people are so weird. Hmm. Like, oh, we love aliens. And like, it's oh, just really? like, I don't never that's what they always that. say. And I just be like. Fuck off. I think Aquarius are like the Aquarius is I know y'all are very like warm. Thank you. Yeah. I yeah. Agree. Like y'all are very warm. Like it's people are like <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> what was like? It's actually Luke. <laughs> I'm <Crack it up. laughs> No, I think like people are like naturally like attracted to y'all. Mm. Like. I can see that. They love to be around y'all. Like, it's always a good time type always. thing. Yeah. It's not always a good time. <laughs> um, when is it a bad time? Well, I guess One time I case. had people over. Michael was one of them. One time I had cooked for my friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I cooked that day. <laughs> Look at him <laughs> nodding his head. He remembers. I do. I had such a terrible, shitty attitude. And it was nobody's <laughs> fault. <Why? laughs> it was nobody's fault. And that's not even like that's not like my character. No, like to just have an attitude and just no. like be mad. Like that's not. <laughs> we all kind of stay put too. Like we let you kind of like <laughs> do. She was like cleaning. She she cooked and then she cleaned. And we were I all kind of uh, like okay. Yeah, I was. I <laughs> Maybe had we should have. I, I don't know it. why I did that to myself. I was just like tired. Like you I could like such a. But full you had meal. committed to it, and I so know. you didn't want to. Yeah. But it was just like, would you rather like keep your commitment and be a bitch about it, <laughs> or just be like, guys, I'm not really in the space. Or like, if y'all still want to come out here, maybe I'll pack y'all something to go. But like, I literally let them sit there just quietly eating and drinking in their own. Like, Yo, and we're I all in the attitude. circle. I would have like, went home <laughs> <laughs> because I don't trust y'all I'm from out west. I don't trust that. Like, you never know what might happen. I'm gonna. Give me to but go they know me. Block. Let's they go. know me. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. right? it's like whatever day I was having that day, I was I'm cracking up. That shit was did like, that's just, hilarious. Did you just though. like go into your room or you? At some point, I went to sleep. Okay, yeah. Like, because so I, like... I didn't want to fuck up the party. I didn't want to fuck up the vibe. But I was fucking up the vibe. <laughs> but it, it's I, it's I, I there was an no, elephant in the room. <laughs> but I eventually just went to my room. Were y'all like texting each other like, "Yo, this bitch is sweet"? Uh, no, we like, just <laughs> all just kind of just, just knew. They were just knew. drinking and eating. And yeah, I, we I just, eventually just went to my room and went to sleep. See, and my yeah. friends are different. We would be texting each other like, "Yo, is like, this bitch all right? Should we leave?" Like, <laughs> no, we should stay. Like, yo, she's tweaking. Like, what's going on? <laughs> like, is she still cleaning that table? Like, like, right. like should we help her clean? that shit was. So weird, that and I hilarious. and I I'm happy that I'm able to like know when I'm the one being a weird bitch. You know when you know how on the internet people be like, oh bitches be weird. Like sometimes I'm a, I'm a weird bitch, but I don't like that. I think because growing up I like being a little weird. Like I like mm-hmm. going, like going against the grain, oh, yeah. not being like what everybody yeah. else was. So but I, now they, I don't they like mean, when they say they like, bitches weird. are weird. Yeah, they mean it. They don't say it right because it's so negative now. It is it's not like. Nasty. Yeah. And people like, are like, yeah, I'm, I'm weird. weird. Like, yeah. Why yeah, it is nasty. But I've I mean embraced it. Sometimes I am weird. Some uh, and sometimes I'm that type of weird, like the weird that they be talking about. Mm-hmm. You know. And I had to just be honest with myself about that. Yeah. Because when I wasn't, it was it was you know just causing resistance. <laughs> and I'm on the path of least resistance. You are. I love that personally. That's so much growth. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. We're growing. Well, Bree, I guess we'll wrap it up. I know. I know. You can come back anytime. Yeah, like, please. No, like seriously. literally. And when Tati is here, Tati is the queen of the icebreaker, so she'll have a way better icebreaker. Yeah. Than what I came up with, but thank you so much for coming. Thank y'all for having me. For anybody who lives under a rock, please tell them where they can find you. Um, uh, I just drew a blank. I don't know <laughs> like, what. Where I was can about they to find say. me? Follow my OnlyFans, and I was just. Like, <laughs> 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 uh, you can so find me every specific. That's B R E E specific. I'm on Power ninety two Sundays, ten a.m. until two. Period. Um, I'm the music director for What's the Bu- What's the Word. So make sure you listen to What's the Buzz Radio. Um, every Tuesday, 7 p.m., Windy City Underground, yes. YouTube, we do Ustream, all of that. Um, I do it with all of my interns, so it's like a music review show. So Ooh. all of my students come in, we review music, and we talk about life and topics and stuff. It's really, really dope, so make sure y'all tune in. Absolutely. Definitely. Um, Master Mentors, too. I don't know when this is coming out, but January 23rd, if you're looking to get into the entertainment business. Today. Yeah. Yeah. It's today. It is. Okay, <laughs> today you can still sign up. What's the word? That TV. Go ahead yep. and sign up for Master Mentors. Uh, we doing it with Dex Millions. Oh, that's, oh, that's so me. Cool. It's okay. No, you're cool. 
Not my focus went off. It's definitely <laughs> on Do Not Disturb. Are uh, we doing it with Dex Millions? He's a uh, entertainment manager, mm, so it's nice. totally free. Y'all can sign up. Um, free webinar for like an hour, hour and a half. We're gonna be talking to him about getting into the business. How do you find a good artist manager? When is the best time for an artist to look for a manager? Things I like that. that. I feel like I'm really selling a lot of stuff right now. Yeah, we love good. it. Um, no, please. let it rip. I don't know. I think that's it. Okay. Yeah. Follow us to word.tv. You know, get in tune, period. Period. Free specific, V R E E specific, and just like my TikToks because that's what I'm working on right now. Oh, we love saying. that. Oh, I'm definitely going to follow me on TikTok. Yeah. We be on, look, Same. Me and, me and Be Easy be on the TikTok. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. Once my knee, like, heals, I'm going to start learning, like, the dances. Okay. Oh, for and I'll sure. be in the dances with you. Then. Oh, yeah. Because Michael, sure. Michael, Michael teaches us all the dances. So <laughs> that's that's like his about. other job. <laughs> 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 <That's> nothing. <laughs> um, yes. Well, thank you so much again for being oh, here. I'm for coming everything. back. I love yes. this. And Come back please. with literally. Couch comfortable. Yeah, yeah okay. let's do it. A vibe. <laughs> It's early, but but they it be drink slowing and stuff sometimes. Yeah, so, sure. yeah well, I'm is. not drinking right now, so me I either. Me y'all. either. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look, look at that, right friend. Yeah, Aww, exactly. we're doing great. We're I'm doing so proud great. of us. But yeah, um, yes, for all of you who are watching and listening, thank you so much. Please continue to do all the things that you've always done. Follow us where we can be followed. You can follow us at Away With Words, the podcast on Instagram and on TikTok. And you can follow me there at Bree.Stories and at Bree underscore stories on TwitTwat. You can follow at A Tati on Instagram and at Hey Tati on TwitTwat. And please, by now, you should just know better. You should be following at MJM Kid and at Moments underscore Stu because what? You just should. You just we love y'all so much. Happy 2023. We're back in this Ooh, bitch every Monday. We'll back. We love you so much. And we'll talk to you next week. Everybody say bye. 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 Bye.